TERPS vote started in 2008, and what we seek to do is to in ensure that students not only know how to register to vote, but have access to register and, and, and also know about the issues and then get out to vote. So we're really making a big push right now to ensure that all students on the University of Maryland's campus have the opportunity to register through either our online system that was developed here in-house, um, first in the nation, or, or through means of connecting them to the resources in their home state, their home district, or their home precinct so they can register to vote there as well. Um, the University of Maryland has taken a leadership role in really engaging their students in uh, this election season through developing this online system. Um, but we're also a university-wide coalition through the Terps Vote effort. Um, thanks so much to uh, Dr. Linda Clement from the uh, Vice President of Student Affairs Office for really pushing the Terps Vote mission uh, across campus. We have the Department of Residence Life, Stamp Student Union, a number of student groups, um, SGA, GSG, Graduate Student Life, um, College Dems, College Republicans, um, and many more who have really taken a leadership role here on campus to engage their fellow students in the election process. Um, you'll see a number of events coming up throughout the, the election season. There will be um, a couple of rallies here on campus um, that you all can get engaged with and, and also through some classes and some speaker series um, that you all can, can get engaged in and also you know, engage your fellow students in conversation, challenge each other's perspectives. Tonight we know we have a diverse crowd here. Um, we have some college, or we have Democrats and Republicans and Independents and other parties I'm sure as well. Um, so make sure you engage in those conversations and you know, I challenge you all to text or Facebook or um, whatever social media is most popular today uh, to ensure that the, the rest of the people who are following you know how important it is and, and what your generation is going to do when it comes for the election season because um, that's really what we want to do is we want to make sure we give you the platform and, and the resources to do that. So um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to hand it over to Sam and she's going to talk more about the, the online system. Uh, my name is Sam and I am the student body president. Um, how many of you, this is the, your first time voting in a presidential election? And me too. That's great and that's so exciting. Um, a lot of us, this is the first time that we really get to show our views on the national stage. Um, and I think that our university has taken a stance, like Shane was just saying, to say that we are not only going to help our students to register, but at an event like this, we're going to make sure that our students know what's happening and what the candidates really stand for. Um, so last year, the Maryland General Assembly was working to pass a bill so we can register online, um, register to vote online through the Department of Motor Vehicles. And SGA members lobbied on that bill because most of us spend most of our time on the computer or online. And I've been out there um, in front of the South Campus Dining Hall, in front of Stamp, getting people to register to vote for the past two years on paper with a clipboard. And everyone, the number one thing I always hear is, can I do this online? And finally, we have an opportunity to actually do that and to share it on Facebook and Twitter and whatever it is. Um, and that's really exciting. So that's why the Student Government Association was pushing so hard to make sure that this happened. Um, because it's really what students, what it's in their best interest. Um, and we can make sure that, as opposed to other states in the country that are trying to shut down students from voting, Maryland is not only letting students vote in the place that they're going to school, but it's encouraging them. Um, and I think that's a really strong statement for our university and also the state. Um, the Terps Vote Coalition, like Shane said, is also made up of a bunch of different student groups, and we've been pushing the system really hard. Um, I think what the current count 45. is 445 students have, regis what? It, have registered to vote um, with the online system in two days. Um, that's really incredible, and I know that the deadline is October 16th, and think about how many students we're going to get by October 16th, and don't worry, we'll tell you how many it is <laughs> at the end. Um, so I think it's now my turn to show everybody how to actually use the system. And I am originally from New Jersey, but I want to change my residency and, um, and vote here in Maryland. Because not only this year are we picking our president for the, for the United States of America, but we're also voting on really important ballot initiatives like marriage equality, the DREAM Act, redistricting, gambling. Um, there are a whole host of issues that students can really make an impact on. So um, this system allows students who are out of state to also register online, which is really exciting. 
So this is just to show you how to do it. Um, so on the first screen, you're just gonna see, um, I am saying yes, I am a citizen, I am over 18 years old, um, and I have not been convicted of buying or selling votes or a convicted felon. <laughs> that I know of. Um, and then here is my login. So it already automatically fills in your information for you. Um, all of this information is correct. Um, so I'm going to click through it. Um, and just as a side note, if any of you are receiving, um, any of you are receiving scholarships from your legislative districts, you need to keep that in mind when registering. So please ask somebody um, about that. Um, this is my on-campus address. I'm saying yes, I agree. And I want to register here on my on-campus address so I can vote right in the Stamp Student Union. Um, I'm gonna use my Maryland residential address as my mailing address. Um, you can, we're in Prince George's County here. I do not need assistance at the polls and I don't wanna be an election judge. Um, I'm going to register as unaffiliated. Um, and this is my, I'm gonna put in my contact information so if anything goes wrong in the system, they're able to um, contact me. And this is my signature here from the online system, or I'm sorry, from our student IDs. That's what gives us the ability to actually register to vote because we have our signatures um, stored with the registrar's office. If it tells you that you have any problems with this, you can go to the registrar in the Mitchell building and redo your signature. So I'm saying yes, this is all of my information and submit my registration application. I am officially registered to vote in the state of Maryland. <laughs> All right, so you see how easy that is. We actually have computers set up in the back of the room, so um, after the debate tonight, we'll keep them set up and we'll have people back there to answer any questions, and we really have those computers there for you all who, who are interested and have not registered yet. Um, please use that system, so thank you very much.